for a boom girl, a fly girl, a D. Uh, she's just so dope. Give it up for Sonia Renee. Sonia Renee coming up to this microphone. Delight her. Here at Retail Wonderland and Taylor Loft, AKA my most recent desperate financial decision, after the very pleasant conversation with Curtis from Capital One, who introduced me to the word for the day, vehicular repossession, peaches. <laughs> I am expected to delight her. Her being any one of the currently or soon to be bougie broads I sling skirts to at this part-time pain in my butt of a job. And of course my thought is more like, shank her. <laughs> hide her corpse, but you're not allowed to do or say any of that, as that would not be very delightful on my part. <laughs> but be darned if it is not what I am thinking. Thinking how I used to do something important. I used to be something important. No, really, y'all. I used to do important things like help prostitutes survive and counsel abused children, help schizophrenic bipolar people with HIV found housing protest to save the manatees. I used to make a damn difference. And now the sum of my subsistence has culminated here at the Galleria Mall, helping Ivana Trump's awful sister, Ivana stab yo behind, make life-altering decisions between low rise and curvy fit. And just as I hit my breaking point, as I approach the fitting room door, ready to shove the 30th skirt, I have shown Jaja, hanger and all, down her obnoxious throat. She opens the dressing room door wearing a bra and a patchy bald scalp, apologizes for startling me, says she's in town because Houston's medical center features the most innovative treatment in adenocarcinoma, and usually she's exhausted from the chemo. So when she has a little strength, she shops. Says it makes her feel pretty again. Thanks me for participating in this moment where the mangled cells of disease don't win, where she doesn't have to be a cancer patient, just simply a human. And I'm an idiot, just a silly little girl with silly little assumptions about the word important, believing that degrees and salaries are what change the world. But I realized in one shift at a job I despise having to go to that the world don't really care about what we do, only how we do it. So baby, if you shine shoes, shine them like they're the only pair that person has ever owned. If you sell cologne, sell it like it's the last scent they smelled on their dying mother. Learn to be the lover of the tiniest spark in someone's eye. And if you work at McDonald's, you better learn to find the passion in a father muck and fry. <laughs> and if you're a poet, a ridiculous broke old poet, conjure up a word you think will change this earth, then write it. But no, no matter what you do or create, regardless of how much money you make, the greatest gift you will ever receive is letting the universe teach you how to be delighted. Yes. Oakland, do you hear us? You need to hear us now. <laughs> 